James Wanner. So I have these two wines up next. I'm going to give you my thoughts on them. One is a Merlot from Columbia Valley, and the other is a red wine blend also from Columbia Valley, both 2018 vintages. Stay tuned, and I'll talk about these wines. I definitely love Washington State wines, and I think they're just absolutely treasure. And I think uh, we're going to see many more of on the stage of the United States. These are both $17 suggested retail price point, and uh, that fits in my value category, value price point wines, which I'll list down below in a hashtag, as well as you're going to see that in terms of uh, you know my playlist. So you're going to see it both ways. A lot of uh, questions and comments this year are, you know, James, I really want to see more value price point wines. Nobody, uh, not every person defines what that was, but I'm really, you know, putting a line in the sand of uh, like $20. And I think that's where people are feeling much more comfortable at, uh, you know, enjoying these wines, buying these wines, engaging with these wines. And, uh, you know, there's also the subtext of, I want them to be good as well. So yes, I totally get that, I understand. And so I think these two wines fit the bill, especially for this really nice celebratory season coming up ahead. So I think it's a nice way of enjoying these wines and not giving up, you know, uh, I think good quality, good tasting wines and a good suggested retail price point. So here we go first with the uh, Merlot. Now this is going to be not 100% Merlot, which I very much enjoy. I want to see a wine that, you know, yes, sometimes I'm in the mood for 100% Cabernet, 100% Merlot, or even Cabernet Franc Petit Verdot. But oftentimes I really go, you know, go towards a, you know, a percentage uh, breakdown. I want to see the other supporting grapes that are going to be Bordeaux varieties as well. They just fit so well when you have other Bordeaux varieties supporting the main Bordeaux uh, grape. So here we go with this wine. So this is 76% of this is Merlot, 11% Malbec, 9% of this is Cabernet Sauvignon, and 4% of this is Cabernet Franc. This is barrel aged 18 months in 20% new American oak, 14.5% ABV, 1,120 cases produced. Suggested retail is $17. So here we go with the uh, nose on this wine. So let's begin with the nose. I think it's uh, expressive in terms of that very herbaceous characteristic that I really depend and hope for on Bordeaux varieties. And I think this is really that really wonderful signature. So that balance between uh, herbaceous characteristics, uh, blackberry notes, black cherry notes, violety and uh, suede notes as well, I think come through nicely on this wine. Next is the palate characterization. So this is a notation of black cherry, a bit of black pepper note, clove and thyme. This is 91 points out of 100 points. Next is the red wine blend. So I love the packaging inside and out actually. So the contents inside, obviously the wine itself is fantastic. And so uh, let me show you the label. It's a, you know, basically the uh, black label and there's a handprint there you can see. This is again a 2018 vintage Columbia Valley and I'll show you the back label and I'll tell you about the wine grapes in this. So here's a back label for you to look at. So this wine is a composition of 44% Cabernet Sauvignon, 37% Merlot, 16% Malbec and 3% Cabernet Franc. This is barrel aged for 18 months in 20% new American oak, 14.5% ABV. Again, 1,120 cases produced, $17 suggested retail price point. So this is a you know wine that I think it's just, for me, I think it sings a, a bit more herbaceous quality than the Merlot. And you know the percentage breakdown is that, uh, I would say equal partnership of all Bordeaux varieties, but I think it really comes in a very nice harmonized package um, blend of wine. So this is giving a nose of Loch Ness Blackberry, a bit of Cassis notes, freshly sanded wood, and uh, forest floor. Nicely done. Next, the palate characterization. So the, the palate's giving really a very nice um, balanced uh, acidic, nice acidity to this wine. Very much enjoying the red and uh, bean cherry notes, a bit of white pepper, cinnamon stick, and dried red floral notes. And this too is a 91.1 out of 100 points. And as I understand, this is widely distributed uh, through many parts of the United States, especially in the West Coast, Pacific Northwest, in the United States. So seek out these wines. I think they're absolutely delicious. I'll put more information on the producer down below. I think Washington is primed for great, uh, I think, value price points and good quality wines. You're not giving up any good quality uh, or sacrificing quality for the price point. And I think that's the story this year, 2020. Challenging year, totally get it. And I think it's one where, you know, we can still drink wine, enjoy wine, and not give up so much of our quality uh, desires for good wine. 
So thank you for watching. Let's stay connected between videos. You'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And if you already have, Sante to you. And uh, you can you know, also connect with me on my podcast, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I'll see you shortly. Sante.